wychodzi, bo układamy sobie tego WordPressa, testujemy, wszystko działa pięknie, tak, wszystkie zapytania do bazy, na lokach hoście, wszystko nam wychodzi, nagle to stawiamy i mm, coś jest nie tak ze środowiskiem, tak, bo usługi są w nie takiej wersji jak trzeba, albo brakuje jakiejś, albo w ogóle jest taki zamiennik i potem się wkurzamy i dopiero po jakimś czasie właśnie dochodzimy do tego wniosku. No, a Kai przedstawi nam rozwiązanie, jak uniknąć tego problemu, jak mieć środowisko szyte na miarę dla WordPressa, jak to mieć w miarę szybko i efektywnie. Także Hi, uh, from now I'm going to uh, talk about uh, Walker and how to use it to create a WordPress environment to develop in seconds. And Gender? <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Kite uh, from Japan. Uh, I'm a web developer and also a designer. <clears throat> and these are my social accounts. And please feel free to follow me or send a friend request. And in Japan, <clears throat> uh, World Camp Kansai 2015 was held on uh, July 25th and 26th and I was the executive committee chairman of it. And I want to uh, tell you that I am a WordPress core contributor uh, since version 4.0. And by the way, <laughs> I'm also a Rails contributor. Now, let's talk about Walker. Uh, first, what is Walker? It's not vodka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see. <clears throat> uh, it's a Docker-based rapid development environment, uh, WordPress, and it's very, very fast to set up. Um, how many people know Walker? Oh, okay, very good, <laughs> very good, yes, okay. So, how fast is it? It takes just three seconds to create a new WordPress environment. And <clears throat> Walker has uh, inter introduced by uh, WordPress Tavern and <clears throat> it's gotten 100 stars on GitHub. And <clears throat> before uh, getting started with Walker, uh, I want to talk about what is Docker and uh, the differences uh, between virtual machines. So let's uh, let's ask a question. Uh, how many people know Docker? So oh, a few people. Okay. <clears throat> First, uh, about virtual machines. Uh, each virtual machine includes the applications uh, and the necessary binaries, libraries and an entire guest operating system. And all of which may be tens of gigabytes in size. It's very, uh, very, very heavy. On the other hand, Docker uh, uses the system called Continuous System. <coughs> and uh, it works on Docker Engine. And Docker containers include the application and all of its dependencies, but share the kernel <coughs> uh, with other containers. They run as isolated process in user space on the host operating system. Uh, that's why uh, Docker is very light and fast. 
and you can uh, easily see the differences from this image. So Docker don't have the guest machine, the guest OS. And let's see the uh, Walker, uh, the, the overview of the Walker. And here is your host machine. It can be Mac or Windows or Ubuntu. And unfortunately, uh, we can't, we cannot uh, use Docker di uh, directly uh, from Mac or Windows. So uh, Walker uses uh, uh, CoreOS Vagrant at the Docker engine. And please use the Walker commands to manage uh, continents. So let's just uh, get started with Walker. At first, uh, Vagrant and VirtualBox uh, unnecessary. If you don't have them, uh, please install them. And then, uh, the Vagrant plugin, Vagrant host updater, uh, is also required. And you can uh, execute, the, execute this command to install it. At this, uh, please clone the repository by using uh, this command. Then after that, after that uh, all you have to do is just vagrant up. Then after a while, uh, it uh, about three minutes or something. At the first time, uh, you will have the default container uh, running, and what you have to do is just access this worker .dev. So let's show you some uh, tech demos. <clears throat> so now uh, we just installed Walker and you can see your local uh, files is in the data folder. And before using worker commands, you have to vagrant ssh. Then we are now in the core OS. <coughs> this is the uh, worker command to see running container, worker ps. So you can see the default container worker is running. And let's just access worker.dev. So you can see we have the very new WordPress environment. So let's make some <coughs> change on this site. So let's change the theme to 2014 and let's change the title to Work Tech. Now our site has changed. <coughs> For example, uh, so we finished our project, then we need a very other new environment. So let's try to try to do this. Uh, first, you have to stop the running container and just walker stop the container name. Then walker is stopped. <coughs> Then, you have to do is just worker run, and you can uh, have a name. So let's see, WCKRA, K 
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> After seconds, uh, you will have a very new WordPress environment. Wow. It just finished. So let's see. Sorry. Wow. That's a new WordPress. We just take a uh, firewall some seconds. Then, so let's just try to change this side again. Everything the same. Okay, this is our other new project working on Postcard. <coughs> so, uh, how about uh, if you want to uh, develop uh, the on the old container again? Uh, what you should have to do is just stop the running container. and start the old one. Then our environment just come back. Yeah. And for uh, more information, uh, there is a documentation site. Uh, it's wckr.github.io. <coughs> and there's some uh, useful tips and uh, or commands of Walker. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the walker is uh, something uh, layer abstraction for Vagrant that uh, is similar to VVV box uh, with WordPress uh, installation. Yes, it's something like this. Uh, no, it's not uh, very same as VVV because VVV use uh, just only use virtual machine. So, but. Uh, Walker mainly is use is using a uh, Docker, so that that's the difference between uh, VVV. Is that okay? Okay, thanks. Some more question. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, dzięki. Um, no to spotykamy się znowu za 10 minut na kolejną prezentację dla turystów. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>